Hello, 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 hello. And uh, welcome to this episode. Uh, today I'm playing Euro Truck Simulator. And what I've decided to do is start from the very beginning. No money, no trucks, no nothing. Just right at the beginning and just start a whole new career. And just, just go through it as like a new series. And just keep building up the um, the business, really. I started off uh, a company, called it Jack, I know, Pirate Trucking, that's it. Just fits in with the theme. So, yeah, I've got that. I don't own my own truck yet, so we're going to be doing a few random jobs to begin with. So I think what I'm going to do in this first video is just do a couple of little random jobs. And just get myself to a point where I can afford to buy a truck. And then I can buy the truck and go from there. So, let's go and find ourselves a job in the job market. A uh, quick job and see what we've got around. Once the uh, pictures load, there we go. So we've got a Merc, a DAF, a new Merc, that might be fun. Uh, oh, a Renault, another new Merc. That one's going to London. That one's going to Felix though. That is literally just across the ferry. It gets me nothing. Although I think they're all about the... Th yeah, they're all the same price. Um, well, I think I'm going to go with one of the new Mercs. Right, so let's have a quick look at the page. So the route length gets bigger as we go down. So this one, which pays... Nothing apparently. Oh, yeah, three thousand four hundred, opposed to the uh, Merc, which was one. Oh, I was looking at ferry price. <laughs> what an idiot! Uh, one thousand nine hundred. <coughs> this one's three thousand four hundred. But well, it's not exactly a terrible drive. So yeah. Expected on Monday. It's currently Monday, so it looks like it's only going to be a couple of hours. Okay, we'll take that one then. It's an old Merc, but it's fine. Um, am I already in a job? Well, that would be an epic fail if I'm already. Yeah, I'm already in a job. <coughs> well, that's just terrible. <coughs> Oh well. Let's get this trucker moving. It's so quiet inside the cab. Need to get that mod back. Uh, throughout this series, I will be um, sort of reviewing mods as well. We're not really reviewing mods, but I'll be trying out different mods as I go and um, seeing which ones I want to bring into the series and which ones are a bit rubbish and don't really want to touch. I'm kind of going from there, really. So, uh, yeah, should be quite interesting. See if any of these guys are going to be kind enough to let me out. You're not going to, are you, buddy? I have to force my way in. Try not to hit the red car. Yep, and I'm in. Yeah, well, that's what happens if you don't let someone out. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Well, I don't think there was any chance of stopping for that. Is that going? He's just going straight through. What? It's a red light, buddy. Red light. That means you don't go through. Jeez. What a douche. Complete scumbag. Well, that's uh, AI for you. But there you go. As always, I'm playing with my trusty Xbox One controller. So my driving at times may seem a little bit erratic, but it's hard to get completely 100% smooth sort of turns and movement when you're using a controller. Unfortunately. But it certainly does the job for now. 
Right, let's bring this into here. So apparently we're going to be getting some really cool new um, delivery options with uh, ATS, which will then be transferred over to ETS. So you'll be able to either... Oh, that's a terrible parking job. Either just do the normal backup like this. Basically, you drive up, you drive into up to the yard, you stop at the gate like you would if you were a proper delivery driver. You talk to the guy at the gate, basically, and say, like, hi, where do you want this? And you can either just press enter, and it just does the quick delivery like it does now, or you can choose to do the normal delivery like you get now, or there's going to be, like, a, a hard mode delivery. So you can just... It, well, I don't know what exactly what it'll like, but I imagine that it'll be like really tight spaces. So it'll be like there'll be like a space that's just there in front of you, which is the standard drive in, reverse up, back it in, or there'll be a space like right over the other side of the yard between two massive trailers or something, and uh, that'll be the hard mode one. So that's the easiest 300 bucks I ever made. But yeah, all good. This is your headquarters. What, that big, black, empty square? Yeah, taking your time to load, isn't you? There we go. Wow, dodgy-looking headquarters. What am I, a hobo? I'm going to get loads of clients, aren't I? I haven't got anything to park here just yet, so there's no trucks in sight. Yeah, bloody bloody blah So it would be good in this game if you own like, a lot of trucks, and then they start parking them all around the outside of the yard. But I suppose if you hire drivers, they will be out on them. Oh well. So, basically, our job now is to make some money so that we can go and buy a truck. And to do that, we need to do a quick job and find ourselves some routes. So, I was looking at... That's probably got... Yeah, I think it's gone now. Actually, no, I think that was it, wasn't it? You're still there. So 3,000 is quite a lot. Or I can take this big old um, Scania. That might be fun. But that... It's, 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 I've got it set by route length. But that, I know that there's a big ferry journey. But if you ignore that, that feels like a bigger route than that does. Which is quite random because... And look at it, it, it kind of looks bigger. I don't know. Well, we'll take this down to Lille, anyway. Take it down to Lille and we'll get ourselves to a certain amount of cash. And, uh... Hopefully... The cottage cheese makes it there okay. <laughs> and then we'll get some cash and we'll get ourselves a truck soon. Right, let's have a look at this truck, shall we? Yep, it's just the old uh, Merc. Very square looking. Very lovely. Let's get started. Right. It's got a big old geared um, display on the screen in front of you. But, um... Yeah, it's a very basic truck, but it's still quite nice looking in here. got some quite good pulling speed for the little baby truck that it is although I can feel that there is a lot of weight on the back right now go wide around that corner it's supposed to give way here but there's nothing coming so we're all good really need to get some track IR soon oh scumbag lights Well, that stopped a lot better than I thought it was going to, considering the weight on the back. Alright, we'll pull up here. Oh, there's another truck right up my back door. Always handy. Can't even see that in my mirrors. Not like there's anything there at all. It's so perfectly behind me. What, what are you doing, Blue Van? I swear it's not a green light for you. AI are mental. 
They cause so many accidents. It's just crazy. Crazy. Set of red lights. Oh, I've got new mail. Well, I can't read that right now. So I'll read it in a minute. <clears throat> I tell you, it is nice being back in the old slow trucks again. After playing for such a long time in fully like powered up trucks with the high spec engines and, and all the gear, it is nice to be back in a slow truck and starting again. And, and I'm hoping that it'll be much the same for you, the viewer, because I mean, there's so many people out there who have done let's plays and actual full gaming series on Euro Truck. And then they've gotten sort of like you followed them along and maybe missed points or, or started watching them late and so you either miss or have missed out on the beginning. So now you're sort of getting a chance to go back and watch someone new start again from the beginning and I think he's let me out. And and do it all again. Oh, and apparently you're gonna let me out because I just went right out instead of stopping. <laughs> so yeah, so hopefully that's that's a good thing for you guys. And you'll enjoy the fact that you get to start again with someone new. And I hope I keep you guys entertained over the episodes to come. I'm going to try and keep these rolling as often as I can. But I am still trying to do other videos and stream as regularly as I can. So, you know, it's, it's, it's all about getting the right compromise between doing this and doing other things. But, fingers crossed, we all enjoy it, and that's what we're here for at the end of the day, that's why I do what I do. It's not for any other reason than to entertain people, and entertain myself as well. Because it's always good fun playing games. So, um, yeah. Fingers crossed it all works out and you guys have a great laugh more than likely at my terrible driving than anything else. <laughs> Some brilliant scenery in this game. Those uh, wind farms just look incredible. And the fact that you can actually take them as, as cargo as well is quite good. I'm not sure if that's part of the standard game but I know that there are mods for oversized cargo that allow you to take like sections of the stand and then um, part of the blades. I think you can even take the nose codes from them. Oh, excuse me. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's just the scenery. If you, you just look around and it just looks incredible. It always looks great. And then you've got the trucks themselves, which which are very well detailed beautifully drawn into the game and and then the loads which are always I mean I'm taking cottage cheese who would ever think of taking that as a load but it's something that gets transported around I'm sure by trucks all the time so they've definitely got a lot of things right in this a lot of things but um, yeah it is I mean I can see why it's still one of the top selling games on Steam and why it's loved and it's definitely definitely even if at such a late stage you still haven't got this game you're still watching YouTube videos and still thinking oh should I get it shouldn't I get it what should I do get it just just get it there is no question just get it it is well worth the money it's quite regularly on um, sale not as much as it used to be but quite regularly you can find it on sale um, Christmas sales are coming up, it'll more than likely be on sale there. I think it's currently on the Halloween sale, which ends in the next couple of days. So, it's definitely, definitely worth getting. Even if it's not on sale, but always check it. And if not, you could always try something like G2A, which is a good website. But just make sure you're of what you're getting before you click that buy button on G2A. Oh, come on, let me out, let me out. Oh, he's come back. Because you, you're not always sure. I mean, I've, I've been duped on there before. 
plenty of people have been. It's just one of those things, you've got to be careful. Yeah, they, they, they come steaming up, they go zooming past you, you have to get into their lane, and then what happens? Oh, I'm going off here. They slow right down. Scumbags. Right, so we're turning off here. Not far from our destination now. Yep, we'll clear. But th this is a nice route. And, like I said, the scenery is all brilliant. There's a big old farm over there. Getting a lot of um, tractors stuff just went past. Very nice. Oh, tried to crash. Ah, coach. Pretty soon we'll be driving those. Well, not that soon, but once ATS is out, we're supposed to be getting. Uh, oh god. That's what happens when you stop looking at the screen for half a second. Lovely. Oh well shouldn't be too bad but uh, yeah as I was saying once um, SCS get American truck sim out they're supposed to be hitting the uh, European coach sim pretty hard and then we should be getting a another awesome game supposedly it's gonna be just an add-on at the moment but I mean I've heard talk that they're gonna make it a standalone game but it seems more likely that it's just going to be an add-on to ETS. And then maybe in time they'll make what, a, a version for American Truck Sim with American coaches and stuff. But it's it's all in the future planned to be all merged together to make one big World of Trucks on the World of Trucks website. Or so they say. So, who knows? Maybe one day ATS and ETS and Coach Sim and all of this stuff will all be one big game where you can just go around the world trucking and coaching and I don't know maybe they'll have taxis and stuff that you can do it's basically going to turn into GTA eventually you can do whatever you want in this massive open world that is the entire world <laughs> yeah that, that would be pretty awesome so we're just pulling up into Lille now the delivery point is just down the road. And then, uh, job done. Jobs are good. There we go, we've got Discovery on Lille. Um, I've really got to concentrate on my driving. Right, I think this is going to take me past a, um, that getting that place that we haven't got discovered yet. Which way are you going? Oh no, I took too long. Well, after this red car, we're going to try and give it a go if nothing comes around. Beautiful. Oh no, I got too close to the barrier. Wow. I'm just epically. F okay, that wasn't me. What was that mini doing? Oh my god. Well, it looks like I've got a. Um an attachment. Oh good, he's fallen off. I don't know what that was about. Oh, it's a garage. Okay, cool. So it looks like everything in Lille is actually discovered. But, um, yeah, that one definitely wasn't my fault. <laughs> I'm not claiming the uh, blame for that. That was that mini driver, pure and simple. Right, round this corner. Two to the left. Oh, scum back, scum back, scum back! Oh! This thing's got really good brakes. It's lights, they always try and get you. Always. And I guarantee it would have given me a penalty if I'd gone through. just not worth the risk, especially when I'm on such low money. Not on my other accounts, mod testing and stuff like that. It's, it's fine, you know, I've got 
hundreds of millions. So it doesn't really matter what I do. But on this one, it's just not worth the risk. Oh, can I get in front of this yellow car? Uh, the yellow truck. Yeah, we're all good. Right, and then it should be just in here. So, trade O, trade all, trade owl. However you say that. So the new, um, the new delivery thing, I think what you're basically going to do is you're going to pull up like here. It's going to be like a booth or something. Or like a marker. And then you'd, um, you'd select what kind of delivery you want. I'm guessing it's going to be like either presenter to drop it off there. Um, normal delivery, which is what I've got at the moment, or like up one of these ramps for like the hard delivery or something. Or something like that. But I mean, delivery as it stands right now, for, for some people, is quite hard. But it is so simple to do. And even from like day one, I wasn't too bad at it. It's just about getting the angle right. And just figuring out where you've got to back it in. So you can mess it up quite easily by doing that and not figuring out the angle. But, if you just drive in and, you know, get it in the right place and get yourself lined up nicely and then, you know, you can do it looking at the side or you can do it looking over the top, however you want. I always prefer to hang at the side and then you just go for it, you know, and you figure out where those back wheels Wow, I didn't realise it was already turned that way. You just figure out where you want the back wheels to go. Get it at an angle. Back it up. Give it a bit more angle. Just feed it in. And if you mess it up while you're doing it, you just put it forward a bit. And then readjust yourself. You know, it's it's not terribly difficult, and it, it certainly doesn't have to be difficult. It's so easy to do, and you know, no matter how much you you lollop about side to side, all you got to do is just keep bringing it forwards, and then backing it up. You know, I mean, yes, there is a time limit on the delivery, but it's not a massive time limit, and eventually you'll get the green marker, you'll be in. You press your T button, and you're good to go. And if you really can't figure it out, just press enter and drop it at the door. You don't get this bonus, this XP bonus. That's from that scumbag crash. Um, you don't get the extra XP for doing that, for if you just press enter at the door. You only get that if you park the trade up. Otherwise, you get something like 2 XP for the entire journey. All the XP is based on... Um, is based on the actual delivery rather than the actual trip and then it's you know whatever money you make and then it goes in your tin towards getting yourself a truck one day and then every time you rank up you get to pick one of these skills um, generally speaking I would say put a point in long distance first it's the best place to start because if you can start getting some long routes they start bringing in the cash a lot quicker so if you chuck a point in long distance just to begin with and then start working on a couple of ADRs maybe because different things there give you different cash and you know keep working on long distance ADR high value cargo is a good one and fragile cargo just in time you know they all they all do add things eco driving is quite good because when you put points in eco driving the more you do, the more fuel is saved. So look, when you get up to rank 6, 35% of fuel saved when driving with a trailer. And 35% of fuel saved when driving free. So it's fine. So, you know, it's, it's good for... Um, it's good for keeping your fuel levels low. I mean, if, if you've got a truck and you've modified it, you've put the double wheel axle on the back and you've got the smaller fuel tank... Eco driving is definitely a help. And then, you know, long distance is the best place to start. Gives you lots of extra cash. After that, it's kind of just go with what you feel like you want to add. <coughs> so, that's a point in. Let's uh, quickly read this email. Let's see what it says. Ah, oh, brand new Scania trucks for sale. 
So we've got a showroom in Lille for Scania opened up. Well, we can't afford a truck right now. I think the cheapest Scania is about 90,000, 92,000. And I've got somewhere in the region of five. So I'm a bit far off. But anyway, that's uh, that's getting started in Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm going to continue this series and hopefully build my way up to buying a truck and buying some more trucks, getting some drivers and going from there. So I hope you like what you see. I hope you come back again. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.